Ready to snag your dream home in the competitive world of house bidding wars? Buckle up, because we're about to reveal the secret strategies to make sure you come out on top. Let's dive into the topic of buying a house for the first time and unveil the exciting journey into the world of house bidding wars. Buckle up, my fellow house hunting dreamers, adventurers, because we're about to take you on a thrilling roller coaster ride through the highs and lows of this intense real estate battle. Future homeowners, dreamers, if you've been on the house shopping journey for a while, chances are you've already encountered the phenomenon we're here to talk about today. The multiple offers on a house or house bidding wars as most of us in the industry like to call them. And if you haven't yet, well, get ready because it's like a real estate adventure waiting to happen. Imagine this, you've set your sight on your dream home and you can already picture yourself lounging in that cozy living room or cooking up meals in the kitchen. You eagerly head to the open house, doesn't matter the weather, but as you approach, you're greeted with a line of eager house hunter that seems to stretch on forever. Wait a minute, what's happening here? Is this the line to Disneyland or a house showing? Or perhaps you're on the other side of the spectrum making a private appointment to view a property and then as you patiently wait by the house, you notice a constant stream of families coming in and out. It's like a revolving door to potential buyers. Welcome to the world of house bidding wars, my friends. Now let's get real here. With interest rates where they are, and they are rising constantly, many first-time home buyers find themselves caught in this whirlwind of multiple offers, especially for the homes that are priced between the upper 300s and upper 500s. But don't panic. We're here to demystify the whole process for you together. So what exactly are multiple offers and why do they make you feel like you were in a time crunch? Well, it's pretty simple. Multiple offers means there's more than one buyer competing for the same property. It could be two, it could be 22 and anything in between. So what's the catch? It's a high pressure situation and here's why. The seller's agents and the sellers themselves often set a deadline for offers to be submitted. Let's say they want the highest, best, and final offers by Monday, 3 p.m. It's like a real estate race against time. You might be asking, can I negotiate? The truth is in multiple offer situations, there's often little room for haggling because the competition drives prices up. But hang on, don't despair just yet. You can still be strategic about it. First off, you should know how many offers are on the table. Unfortunately, seller's agents aren't allowed to spill the beans. So it's up to you, up to your realtor and your gut feeling to decide if you want to dive into the bidding war. And then comes the burning question. What are the other offers? Well, sorry, but that's top secret information. It's illegal to disclose details on other buyers offers. So don't even think about trying to find out. But here's where you can shine. Crafting the perfect offer. Your offer needs to be rock solid to stand out. Think about it as your one shot opportunity. Your down payment has to be robust. Your terms need to be favorable and your offer price has to be the highest you're willing to go. It's like putting your best foot forward and you got to be prepared to lose if your offer does not make the cut. The sellers will review all the offers based on various factors such as down payment, offer price, closing date, inspections, appraisal contingencies, and your mortgage pre-approval and here's a pro tip for you guys. If you can show proof of funds for your down payment, it strengthens your offer even more. I do have a video in more detail about pre-approvals. You can watch that next up there if you'd like. So there you have it. The exciting world of house bidding wars in Veiled. 
We're not here to scare you though, and we don't want to scare you away. We just want you to be well prepared and armed with knowledge. After all, it's your dream home we're talking about. And we want you to make the best move for you and your family. I know that you found this information helpful and want more real estate insights. So hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot more exciting content coming your way. And remember, we're here to answer all your questions. So don't hesitate to drop them in the comments for us or you can reach out to us directly. Your dream home is out there, believe me, and you're one step closer to making it a reality. Until next time.